hello and welcome back to the vlog and we have a new format for this next series of vlogs we're going to cover a whole week of what Tam and I get up to here in the village because that's what you've asked for and that's what we're going to do if you like the idea of following a blog and a vlog about living in Bosnia Herzegovina what it's like being here as a foreigner married to a local then please consider sharing uh, and liking uh, the uh, channel and also subscribe as well so hit that notification bell so you never miss a drop or a post for that matter okay so um, it's been a bit of an awkward week as far as weather is concerned but we've got an awful lot done uh, and one of the first things has been getting those uh, tomatoes the last tomatoes out of the garden and putting them to good use What's this called? Rucinovic Paradise D.O.O. <laughs> this is called Shavsha. I'm making Shavsha. Shavsha is a stew of tomatoes uh, with onions and garlic. So I, I'm gonna clean some onions and garlic, fry them in the, or saute them in the olive oil. Then I'm gonna chop up these and add, and uh, we're gonna have it with pasta. Because these are uh, overripe from the garden. So you can eat them on a salad, but you can definitely cook them. But all from the garden? Yes. It's all from the garden. And the dog is sleeping there. Peepsy. Good morning, Dobrodan Internet. <laughs> yesterday you cut all this up. Yes, I was supposed to cook it yesterday, but uh, <clears throat> I was doing something in the garden and got tired. So, this is shav... Shavsha. Shavsha. Which is like a chopped up tomato sauce or stoked tomatoes. It's a good few kilos in there, actually. Isn't it? Maybe a kilo and a half. So, the game is... The game is fry the garlic in the olive oil, then add the chopped tomatoes, but tomatoes, not potatoes. <laughs> this is our satch. Can you lift the lid off? And uh, this is our top toy, isn't it? Yes. And I'm gonna add more olive oil to that. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna keep steaming. And the pups is outside. The pups is a plane. Till it's soft or brown or... Till it loses a little bit of the flavour. You'd have garlic on garlic if you could get away with it, wouldn't you? I love garlic and onions. They are my favourite vegetables and tomatoes. Do you... Is garlic a vegetable? I think so. Yeah, I think so. What did you think it was? Mm. It's not really a herb, is it? No. Have to hush away the flies today. Chopping up like this comes with experience. And now we're going to keep adding until we... You're going to do all these? All of these. And then we're going to cook it until it's nice and soft. But unless, but unless, but unlike the, the YouTube video that we saw from the Italian girl, you're not going to puree them with a bar mix thing? No. I like them too. But I'm going to add uh, the secret ingredient. Can you tell us what it is? Uh, 
because these could never be ripe enough, like what you buy from the shop, from the can. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna add a tomato sauce, like really nice ripe one. I did some too, we got a second chopping board. So it's all done, now chopped and it's gonna cook now for, I don't know. So what else do you have to put in? Do you have any leaves or herbs or anything? Yeah, we're gonna do the basil leaves, but later. That's basil from the garden? Yes. How long does this go for? I don't know, one hour maybe? We'll see. Mm -hmm. Maybe longer. Shall we mix it a little bit with the old bzz, bzz machine? I don't know, we'll see how it I could just see I'm this. I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. I'm going to add some... Uh, chutney? Some vegeta. No chutney. Vegeta is? Is like a vegetable spice. But I buy the natural one. But very Yugoslavian. No chemicals. Yeah. Let it boil. Malo Vegeta. Which you can only get, well, no, I think you can get it outside the Yugoslavian countries, yeah? Yes, in a specialized shops. Malo Sea Salt. I thought you said Sea Salt for a minute. I said Sea Salt. Oh. Crushed black pepper. Shecheru. And sugar. I put sugar because sugar put four, like a two tablespoon. Sugar takes the acidity of the tomato. And what about the slatki paprika? It's slatki paprika, I forgot. Tiny bit. This is all optional. People, Italians, I don't think they put these spices. But I like my own twist to things. This is gonna cook now until it's nice and thick and reduced. I'm gonna add uh, one of the uh, tomato sauces, uh, Italian. Just so you get to Are we just going to eat this on pasta? Yeah, you can eat on pasta, you can eat, I don't know, with Rija. So it's finished, and I'm going to try it. Shavsha. 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 Yes, Shavsha. Mm. Can we show the plate? Mm. How is it? Is it salty enough? It's, one, it's wonderful. And now I'm going to eat it, and we will see you tomorrow. Good morning, welcome back to the village. It's a Saturday and today we're expecting a delivery of briquettes. Three metric tons, I think. Not too sure, but it will be enough to keep us warm throughout the winter. We have like wood-fired central heating, um, which also takes briquettes. You must have probably seen videos of them before in previous years, so we don't know when the driver's arriving. He's going to give us a call and then we'll, um, we'll hopefully show you. And today... I've got my DJI Osmo action, sort of like a bit of DIY, but put on the peak of an old baseball cap, basketball cap, um, from Brooklyn, where my daughter first lived when she went with my son-in-law and my grandsons to the United States. They live in New Jersey now. And we'll see, um, yeah, we'll see what happens when the briquettes come.
done. We're gonna be warm this winter again. Good afternoon and welcome to our vlog. Yesterday was winter fuel. Yes, it was. We have a lot of briquettes. I, I don't know if you know yet, but Corona. I, I, Corona. Yeah, you've been in town today. Yes. What do you do on I Sundays? What do you do on Sundays? I have coffee with friends. The ladies. The ladies. And I took little Phoebe with me. She was very good. Did you take any photographs of Phoebe? Yes, I did. Yeah. Okay, right. This is what we're doing now. We're getting ready for our Facebook uh, live so this is what it looks like behind the scenes we do have a light and the um, this is a camera stand a mic stand without a mic the mic went bang today right so that's it um, we better get cracking Tam's gonna make a cup of coffee and um, after Stay this tuned. yeah and we'll see you tomorrow we'll see you tomorrow Hi, it's Monday and uh, as you've seen on the vlog so far we've had some really cracking weather um, today it's just like miserable um, Tamara's in town she's got to sort out some things for my next doctor's appointment and yeah it's cooler 25 degrees so that's okay I've managed to get outside on my uh, office chair and maybe you can hear in the background not only the rain that we have at the moment but it looks like we're going to have a storm and little Phoebe is down there I thought she wanted to come out for a pee but she's just like sat with me she misses Tam a lot so she she cries a lot during the day she is still very very young though so that's quite understandable but yeah how the weather changes rapidly now when I first came to Bosnia all those years ago, um, there were distinct, there were four, dist four, 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 four distinct seasons. I think there's only two now. Hot and like miserable. Yeah. Grey clouds. And rain. Good morning, these are my feet. On a Tuesday, it's the first day of September. My right foot is the right foot of my cat Birkenstocks. I wear them in summer and around the house as well. And Serbian traditional slippers, pre uh, And that is on my damaged foot, which, with a bit of luck, this weekend, or maybe on Friday even, gets a pin out and then I should be able to use it again yeah I was going to show you the scar but maybe that'll turn you off good morning and welcome to the office and today I've been working with Ecamm Live which is a software that Tam and I use for our um, Sunday broadcasts that we do on Facebook on our Facebook page and also on our YouTube channel and we simultaneously broadcast on um, Periscope. Um, we, we, we don't have a Twitter account but there are people that like to find out what is going on in different countries throughout the world so we're hoping that we might pick up one or two viewers um, on Periscope. I'm learning all the time about uh, Ecamm, I think it's really really cool so I thought I would show you um, today uh, what we've managed to achieve so far with our limited knowledge. Um, we have a number of scenes. This is the one that uh, I'm talking to you now on. But uh, if we were vlogging, this is what you would be seeing. Uh, we have a ticker uh, running and we also have uh, logos to people that support our channel, such as there. I have to look on the other side here, don't I? Uh, our friends at Control rent a car. Um, and we, we put other elements in as well. We can play noise in just like this because you're watching today. <laughs> That. Uh, that was just a, a quick round of applause 
And what I'm really excited about is the ability now to to do podcasts uh, and uh, interviews for our YouTube channel and Facebook presence um, in a really live way. So if I just go here, you'll see what, what I mean. We can actually do Skype interviews now. Now, obviously, nobody's online at the moment, but we'll be able to talk to people from wherever they are in the world to talk to them about Bosnia um, and all great things like that. So, yeah, that's been today. And um, sun is out, as you can see from the, the weather. And I know it's slightly overexposed, but we do have sun coming in through uh, the back window. Tam's going off shopping now. So uh, we'll see what she has to say when she comes back. Hello and welcome to the vlog. I just came back from shopping. What did you get? I got new Brita filter. Yeah, it got smashed by the dog, didn't it? I smashed it and the dog was in a way, so she was one of the... She helped me to smash it. The culprit. The culprit. In fact, um, I actually slipped over um, Linda today and uh, so my foot is hurting a little bit. But the great thing you did bring back from the shops was um, you dropped into our local restaurant Robich. yes and i brought some goulash nice lovely and she had she's not telling you what she really had what did you really have i had chicken fingers because i love them they make them from real chicken and i'm a chicken finger like a fan i would choose chicken fingers over goulash every time okay so because i make very good goulash myself you do i do but it's cheaper buying it we've worked out yes from no not really but when you count electricity and everything it's cheaper buying it Okay, so this is the first vlog that we've done like covering a week with a few minutes of this and a few minutes of that. Hope you liked it. Um, we'll see what the reaction is from you, whether you saw it on Facebook or on YouTube or wherever. And uh, yeah, if you like the vlog, if you think this is a good thing to do, please do like it and share it and also subscribe it, which is good for us, isn't it? Yes, very good for us. And let us know in the description below what you like seeing, what, what you like us to see. We are not capable to film much today, uh, these days, because David broke his ankle, but otherwise you can just tell us what would you like to see more on our vlogs. Okay, and so until the next time, um, which I might be walking around a bit because in the next couple of days I hope to see the doctor and have a pin out yes but I'm not looking forward to the pain again yes no okay see, okay. You, see you soon bye, bye.